As a blood donor, you probably don't know who's received your blood. You probably don't know their names or addresses or whether they're young or old, male or female, rich or poor. But there's one thing you do know. By donating blood, you help save lives. In fact, giving a single pint of blood can save up to three lives. Maybe it's a heart patient who needs surgery or a trauma victim with internal bleeding. Maybe it's a kidney patient who needs a transplant or a cancer victim fighting to survive. For giving blood, you deserve a million thanks. Here are just a few. My name is Travis Roy Sanchez, and I am 14, and I'm a thalassemia major, and I get blood once a month because my blood, red blood cells are abnormal. Before I have my transfusion, I feel weak and tiresome, and I don't feel like getting up and around a lot. And after I have it, I feel energized. Um, I feel very active, like the Energizer Bunny. I was diagnosed with sickle cell anemia when I was three years old, and I have been getting blood transfusions ever since. Last week I had a surgery, and I got five different people's blood. And while I was laying in the bed, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, like, I wonder what the people, you know, I wonder who gave me this blood, if it was a boy or a girl, or like, what are they doing right now? And I wish they could know that right now they're saving my life and giving me a blood transfusion. Courtney was 22 months old actually when um, she was diagnosed with a rare blood disease called hemolytic uremic syndrome, which most people are more commonly familiar with it as the um, E. coli disease or the disease that the E. coli bacteria causes. Had she not received the blood transfusions, she wouldn't be here. When people are giving blood, um, you know, if they're scared and stuff, and especially if it's their first time, I'll go up to them and talk to them and I'll say, you know, I have to tell you something. Uh, my daughter received blood, so what you're doing really, really means so much and it helps people. To see your own child receive a pint of blood and the difference that it makes, is, it was actually wonderful. I couldn't believe it. You know, I just couldn't believe that I had a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. When you go through transplant, and it's each day comes, you're grateful for that day and there are gonna be blips in between, and, and those blips are where I needed the blood. But the important thing was that there were blood products available for me because that was a key issue. And if I didn't have them, I'd be dead. A year and a half ago, I was 17 years old, and um, on the way home from skiing, I fell asleep at the wheel. And I hit a tree on the highway and basically lost my life. No matter how healthy, active, and happy you are, you never know when your life might suddenly change. I had no idea and I'm sure that most people don't. You know, I walk into a room of people and one of the first things that comes to my mind is maybe someone in here saved my life. I just don't know and um, I think that that's the wonderful mystery about it. Um, I am so thankful for people donating blood because I was given another chance to live. I'd like to send out a huge thank you to all of the donors and volunteers that have had a hand in all the blood that I have received and everyone is currently receiving. It's, it's an incredible gift and thank you. When I thank the donors, it is really from the bottom of my heart because I might not be alive if it weren't for the blood that people give. Keep giving blood. It, it saves lives. It really does. Uh, I'd like to say thanks for um, donating blood. Thank you. You may not be a doctor. You may not be a nurse. But as a blood donor, you play a major role in their life-saving work. By giving several times a year, you'll help ensure a safe, plentiful blood supply for our community and our nation. This year, donors and volunteers like you will help care for nearly 5 million Americans. Thank you for making such a difference.